Hey everyone, Tony George, Sunday March Madness update, NIT style. Yeah, the NIT and the other tournaments going on as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we have one in the CBI today on our premium card. Um, although March Madness and the Big Dance is center stage. You know, I wanted to get, I wanted to do a four pack today because we've been we've hit five out of our last six cards. But our free plays in March Madness here this week have sucked. So I wanted to give you guys a solid free play. And this is one I was going to make a two or three unit play on my card. But three is plenty, especially with another top play today. Uh, we hit a big one on North Carolina yesterday. Uh, no brainer against Michigan State. Um, for those of you playing the home version, Tom Izzo is not suiting up. He's just coaching. North Carolina, number one seed, just had way too much for Michigan State, especially uh, once they got their head out of their butt after about the first 12 minutes. But nonetheless, uh, let's get you a uh, solid free play. Uh, we got a big play today again. We're going back to back. We'll tell you what we got going on here. But South Florida is a team uh, that I have admired all year long, and I've been on uh, this year more than once. And uh, this coach there, has done a hell of a job. This is a 25-17. and 17. Uh, This is a really, really good basketball team. And Amir um, Abdurrahim has just done a heck of a job. He came over from Kennesaw State. He's done one of the best coaching jobs in the country. This team's 25-7 and seven straight up, 21-8-3 against the spread, which is one of the better spread records in college basketball. And they just took down Central Florida on the road in round one of the NIT. And bear in mind, this is a home road series still in the NIT, and they're 15 and two and very strong at home. Uh, I think the Atlantic 10 Conference was average at best. Obviously, you got Duquesne and Dayton in the tournament, and uh, we all saw what Duquesne did. Uh, VCU lost to them in the title game, but we saw what Duquesne did in round one. Uh, they didn't do so good against Illinois yesterday, but. Uh, this is back-to-back -back roadies for an A-10 team in the postseason. And VCU, the one thing that does raise your eyebrows, um, they have a winning road record, which most teams in the NIT uh, do not have a winning road record. Um, South Florida being one of them. Uh, however, it's just rare you find them. So um, South, Flor uh, South Florida faces a team that uh, beat Villanova on the road. So they'll have their full attention. Now, Nova shot 26% in that game for three-point range. That's not going to happen against South Florida. They knocked down threes. Um, both teams play very good defensively. Uh, that being said, South Florida's got better shooters. Um, I just think their ability to knock down those shots and having a home court advantage here is worth a full two or three points. Um. I think VCU bites it, and I think the Bulls of South Florida move on, and I think the Bulls of South Florida are a team that can get to the Final Four in the NIT. Really do. It's a good basketball team. If you haven't seen them play, watch the game. You can find it somewhere on TV. That's for sure. Let's get them in the books here for a free play winner. Over at the website today, we have a six-unit top play on a three-pack as I mentioned, we cached five out of our last six college basketball cards for profit. Some of them had small profit, but we turned small profit. Uh, other ones like yesterday, almost $700 to the good. We had Zaga over Kansas. Kansas just, I, I've said it on videos and I've said it on the Hoops Happy Hour show and my StreamYard podcast, both those with Griffin Murphy, um, that Kansas was overrated, that Kansas didn't deserve a number four seed, that Kansas was going to fall in the second round of the tournament, and they did. They just, they, it's, it's dumbfounding to me that uh, Kansas has no depth because you're Kansas. It's just, that's as dumbfounding to me as it is Virginia, a perennial top 15 team, four years removed from a national title, doesn't have a shooter on their team. I mean, it's just impossible how you can you transfer a portal, you know, recruiting, get some depth on your bench and get some shooters. And Kansas needs some shooters too. They don't have a prolific shooting guard. 
They're Kansas. Nonetheless, Zaga got it done. Um, and, of course, we had North Carolina over Michigan. And we lost a small two-unit play on Creighton. First half line, minus two and a half. They're up by two. Oh, what a great game, by the way. What a great basketball game. That Cozart is no joke for Oregon, you know. And uh, I was a little torn in that one. I wanted to see Creighton win it because I'm from Nebraska. Um, did the, And what's conversely ironic is I did the Dane Altman show for two years for an ESPN station in Lincoln, drove over to Omaha once a week and did a show with him every week for two years when he was coaching at Creighton. That's how old I am. But nonetheless, we got a three-pack today with a six-unit top play. Needs no hype. Come on. Uh, NASCAR, Coda, road race down in Austin, Texas today. Uh, on a track, I have driven a Corvette on. Brand new Corvette. And also, a Dodge Challenger Hellcat on. Yeah. Nonetheless, uh, we have a two-pack in NASCAR today. We have a three-unit NHL play. We're on a 12-4 and four run in the NHL. 6-0 and oh, our last six for $2,220 is good. Singled out one game in the NHL today, passing in the NBA with props. Those will be back on Monday. March Madness, center stage today. Go get it right there at Docs. we got a free 60 bucks link in the description below. Never been a member? There's a tab on the website in the upper left-hand corner. Get a free 60 bucks. Get yourself a March Madness card. Get yourself a, a NASCAR card today on the house. Turn a profit, make money. That's why you're here.